Entrepreneurship is a critical component of the South African economy. I think that's fair to say. And to that end, the activations agency Zinto Marketing has developed an interesting new concept called You Are the Job. Sandili Lepondo from the agency is with me. Good morning and thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you for having Sounds us. like a very interesting concept. Uh, what is it and why do you think it's important in developing an economy? There's an epidemic around South Africa of a lot of youth that are talented that don't have jobs. So we basically in encourage the youth wherever they are whatever the talents may be be it in the arts or the administrative sector to be the job what we mean by that is take your talent you plus your talent equals your job so basically that's what we do we help facilitate it we are a marketing company that links talented individuals to be able to market big brands how do they do that Basically, uh, we employ some of the best dancers inside the country. We've got uh, the likes of Reptiles. I'm not going to name a lot of them. And uh, some of them have won very, very important competitions around the country. But they don't have a sustainable income or frequent income. And they've got families that they'd like to support. So we, as Zinto, uh, help facilitate the process by, first of all, uh, upskilling their admin skills if, for example, they are weak there. And so we show them that you don't have to just focus on being being uh, an artist and being uh, a singer, if I may, you can use that talent to, for instance, plug into one of our clients as MTN. You can dance to a branded song that we have produced internally and help market and bring excitement to whatever brand that uh, we are working with. So, Angeli, why did you go the arts and entertainment route? Well, uh, there's a lot of talent. I mean, Africa is a continent filled with talent. And uh, unfortunately, not everyone had the privilege to, or should I say, not even the affordability to be able to go to tertiary institutions to further themselves, be it for financial reasons or whatever the case may be. So we have identified, like with townships like Alexandra, where as you walk around there, you find a lot of unemployed people who, would, who are really, really above average, but are not making a living out of it. So we would... Uh, call some of those guys up and invite them to say, why not, instead of just sitting around the township and being exposed to different things that might put you in trouble, use those talents to bring excitement to a brand that we are working with and then you can make a living out of it and then you can feed your family and we, in turn, excite our client with the offerings that we have. All right, I internally. think you've partially answered the next question. It's about exciting the brand. Uh, in what respect do you think it excites the brand? And perhaps before you answer that, how difficult a sell was was it this concept to brands in the first place? Did, did they buy into the idea? Well, I think everyone uh, loves entertainment, uh, Jeremy, respectfully. And uh, basically, uh, the, there's the old traditional way of just getting onto the stage with a microphone and just talking to people, almost promoter style. And when we then showed people through our, because we've also got a video department with Rusty Orange as a department. So basically, we would show them that this is what we can do for your brand. We can go the traditional way if that's what you want to do, but we advise you to also consider this route because it'll bring excitement. On the streets, I mean, we, we, we live in South Africa. It's about celebration. It's about music. It's about the festivities. So with the townships, that uh, some of the townships that we go to, we find that if you speak to people in a language that they understand, in this case, through the arts and music, they are more likely to wait around and listen to what you have to say because you're targeting them in a language that they understand. Fair point. Do the brands see the value in that? They see the value in it. We've been doing it for about 18 years now successfully with brands like uh, Boston City Campus, MTN, to name a few, uh, Ilovo, Iliaden. Uh, I mean, I can go on. And it's the fact that they've come back for more means uh, that's, that's the answer in itself. We are doing something There's right. There's very disparate brands that you've just mentioned in the continuum. Does it suit any particular type of of brand better than others? I think all brands stand to benefit from this. If you are looking to go a different route and excite your consumer. Uh, and, and like I said, I mean, I'm going back slightly to the point of there's a traditional way of doing things where you just get an MC to talk about it mm -hmm. and to be formal about it. But I mean, y y and not to say that's a boring method. Not, actually, you've, you've, got to, you've got to energize the brand. That's if you exactly want to energize it, I mean, we have guys who are like Red Bull champions. Uh, and even this year, one of our crews is Freeze Frame. Last year, our crews won as well, uh, IDA. And they all went uh, to, uh, they won the championship and the year before that, three years in a row. Thank you very much for talking to us today from uh, Zinto Marketing, uh, Sandeli Lepondo. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.